Hi, I'm Kelsey, and that's Matt, and we build vans. A couple of months ago, we had some people rent one of our vans. Okay, not those people, but their parents rented one of our vans. They came back and right off the cuff asked us if we had ever built a van for a family of four. We looked at them and kind of just told them we had never done that, but we'd be open to it. Um, we went ahead and told them, yeah, uh, we could potentially do that. They wanted to go with us and have us build them a van. So we said, all right, what are you thinking? So they said, well, we have two kids, so we'll need to be able to sleep four. He said, I'm 6'3", but the girls are only about 4'6". We'll need two extra seats with seat belts, maybe an outdoor shower. We'd like to be able to cook a lot of meals in the van. A toilet would be great. Oh, and it would be awesome if we could store two bottles of wine while we're traveling. Right here, we have a step light that's integrated into the door sensor so that right when you open the door at nighttime, you'll be able to see where you're walking without fumbling for the lights inside. And then if we go just right here, the overhead lights on a dimmer switch so that you can turn them on and they're accessible from the kitchen and everywhere where you might need them to be. So up here in the cab, you obviously have your quintessential van life swivel seats. You can turn the seats around when you're not driving and have more space to sit down in an area to hang out. Also right here we have the fold down Friedman dual bench seat with two three-point seat belts. So all of our vans come equipped with a heater. Mercedes Sprinters use the diesel S-Bar heater, the S2L, which pulls heat from the gas tank. The vent is right down here and you can turn it on right in the control panel, set your temperature and keep it there for as long as you have gas. Over here right next to the bench seats we have an outlet and a USB hub if somebody wants to use it while they're sitting in the bench seats for charging various items. We also have a large cabinet up here for storing large items. Uh, directly above the bench seats. You can see above we also have a max air fan up front and in back to get nice cross breezes. We've got two operable van windows from Van Windows Direct. Those are great for you can open them up and get a cross breeze by turning on the fan and you can either do exhaust or intake to kind of air out the front part of the van. It'll be a similar thing in back. Another great thing about having these windows installed is that the girls can look out the window uh, as they're driving along when sitting on the bench seat. Moving on to the kitchen. First off, we have a little bathroom area down here so that if anyone has to use the bathroom in the middle of the night, you can just slide out the toilet, use it, and slide it right back away. Then we obviously have the sink right here with the normal faucet, comes down so you can wash dishes. We have a filtered water faucet right here and a soap dispenser here. Right here we have an induction stove so it runs off of our electrical system and you just turn it on like this obviously. So right here we have a big isotherm fridge slash freezer. The freezer is big enough to put your Ben and Jerry's in it which is essential. Right here is just the worktop so that you can prep when you're cooking. Under the sink, obviously, we have the toilet, but we also have the plumbing for the faucet and the filtered water, as well as just the water filter itself under here. In this guy, it's pretty good for silverware or your junk drawer or whatever you want there. And a pretty good size here for pots and pans. And then down here, we ended up making a pretty big drawer because we know that they're probably going to want to store a coffee maker and possibly an air fryer, so we made this big storage drawer here for that. Up top, we have our utility cabinet here. On this control panel, we have a lot of the controls for the van. So there's a water level gauge for the gray water and the fresh water tanks, the controller for the heater, the battery monitor, the inverter remote, and a switch panel where you can turn on the outside floodlight, which we'll show you in a little bit. You can empty the gray water tank, which has a motorized valve on it. You can turn on the water pump, turn on the internet booster, and you can turn on the under cabinet kitchen lights. Right here, we just have some storage for food. That's the kitchen.
So here we have the bunk beds. This is where the girls will sleep and it will be their bedrooms in the van. Each one comes with these curtains so that they can have a little bit of privacy. There's the ladder right here so that you can get up onto the top bunk. And underneath is storage right here. We have a long skinny drawer. We know that the girls are gonna be homeschooled on the road so we might, thought this might be a good spot for books and for all of their schoolwork. And then there's two bigger drawers down here, which we imagine will be good for the girls' clothing. Finally, there's one little cabinet over there, which will store the supports for the bed in the back, which we'll show you in a little bit. We opted to finish this with wallpaper. We got this wallpaper from a company called Hovia. They're based out of the UK, and it's pretty much fully custom wallpaper. If you see one of their wallpapers and you like it, but you want the color to be slightly different, they can tweak it for you and you can do fully custom dimensions and everything like that. Back here is the booth bed setup where you can both eat and will also be the sleeping quarters. You have a large table on a lagoon mount so you can move it around and everybody can get in and have a nice family meal together. The cushions are eight inch uh, memory foam mattresses which have been cut to size it's a slightly larger slightly smaller than a king size bed um, as far as width goes it's also a short king underneath the benches you will have uh, storage adjacent to the wheel wells as well as on the back passenger side you have a plumbing system and your water tank and on the back driver side you have your entire electrical system Back here, you also have two reading lights with USB plugs uh, for at night when you don't want to have all the lights on or if you're reading. In addition, there is an outlet down here right next to the lagoon mount. Now to set up the bed, you open up the small cabinet that's under the bunk bed and you'll pull out what we would have dubbed the bed planks, which are additional supports. And you'll take the table off the lagoon mount, put it on the lip of the bench and you put in the bed planks and then you will put your cushions on top and make the bed as you always do. One of our favorite features in the van, which was a client request, was hidden wine storage. It's really nice to be able to get to your campsite. Maybe you meet some friends and you want to open up a bottle of wine before you pass out for the night. So we went ahead and installed this drawer, which is a push to open drawer and uh, has four separate sections for four different bottles of wine. Um, it each, all the wine is held in via foam and extremely secure. So that way your wine doesn't go bouncing around as your car goes down the road. So that's that. Finally, we did finish the back doors um, and installed these pockets into them. These can be used for storage, laptops, books, and whatever. We also think it just adds a really nice look to the whole van. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much the booth bed area. I think we're gonna go check out the trunk and the electrical and plumbing systems. So let's go. So back here in the garage, since we do have that raised booth, this storage goes all the way back to the front of that step on the inside, which is really nice. You can fit your moonshade awning in it. You could put a table down there, camp chairs, any kind of long thing that you might want to store. Right here, an outdoor shower. So it just uncoils like this and it has both hot water and cold water. So you can take a hot water shower on those chilly days. Right here, we have the fuse panel. It's going to have all the fuses labeled for both the AC and the DC. Um, we've never had to replace any fuses in a van, but it's there if you never ever need to access it, replace a fuse or anything like that. And right here, we have just an outlet so that if you want to charge any toys outside or if you want to work outside because it's a beautiful day like today, then you can charge your laptop out here. All right, so back here on the left here, you have your plumbing, which is equipped with a water pump, um, SureFlow water pump, 2.7 gallon hot water heater, as well as a air inlet so you can winterize. Also underneath here is a 28 gallon water tank. Over here is your electrical system. 
which is equipped with 400 amp hours of lithium iron phosphate batteries. You also have a 3000 watt Victron Multi Plus inverter charger, so you can charge off shore power. It also provides AC power throughout the van. In addition, there is a 30 amp solar charge controller, as well as 480 watts of solar up on the roof, and a 30 amp DC-DC converter, which is the Victron Orion, um, that enables you to charge off your alternator. And that's pretty much the electrical system. Everything is separately fused, um, so you have plenty of protection for each circuit as well as a battery cutoff switch so that way when you put it into storage you can just disable the batteries and they'll stay charged up until you come back to it. On the outside right up here they have a floodlight that you can turn on from the control panel inside so that when you're hanging out outside at night you can still see what you're doing. On the passenger side right here on the back you have the water fill up. Just turn this off with the key and you can put the hose directly in here and fill up your water tank without having to put the hose inside from the back or anything like that. The water just all stays outside when it drips down. On the driver's side in the back they have the shore power plug-in so that you can charge up if you're not getting enough solar and you're not able to charge on the alternator while you're driving. Here they have the Alvan's Sherpa rack on the back door and one of the Sherpa boxes which locks and it opens up like this just for some additional external storage. And then right up top on the roof here we have a WeBoost antenna which is the cell signal booster. That's the exterior antenna and it is on a hinge so that you can put it up when you're parked and get better signal and then put it down when you're driving so that it's not in the way and you have a lower clearance going under bridges and everything. Time flies when you feel the right. So no need for waiting. Cause it's just that kind of night and I'm kind of feeling crazy. So oh, oh, oh tell me that you're feeling right. Oh, 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 tell me that you're feeling right. Time flies. When you feel it right No one can take away my feel good Drop off the negatives and wave goodbye Now don't worry, don't hurry Got time to occupy Cause when my head good, my mind great Depends on my mind state Those letdowns, those sad frowns You puff up, just deflate Living it better than ever I'm living according to plan Kicking this right so all you people understand Cause I feel right, mind at ease Not a problem in my head Cause I be staying carefree So when you find yourself stuck Losing track of time all that means is you're in that good state of mind.